so this is an oil-fired furnace, right? I talked about the oil, right? I just think it's crazy. That red box turns the oil into a mist, ignites it, flames shoot inside a barrel, like a refractory box. It gets really hot and air passes through it. And uh, that's essentially the heat exchanger and air passes around it and heats up the house and you know hot air is is blown around the house in the winter time there's no air conditioning on this unit i take a picture of every manufacturing label i've never actually used it i can't remember the last time i looked up the size of an air conditioner and tonnage or something to buy by 12 or uh, look at the serial number to actually find the week of the year that it was manufactured but you know i had that information and that information is sometimes supplied in other areas like there right so the installer just wrote down when the, the place was uh, uh, when the furnace was installed shut off switch oh so i take a picture of the system System, and then I take a picture of the components of the system because that's how my inspection report checklist on my mobile device is set up. I describe the system and then I describe each component of the system and I don't make mistakes. I just go through the checklist. I check that, 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 I check that. Okay, I'm done. Go to the next system. So I know this is right 8.30, 8.45. I'm going to be done in about 10 minutes with this furnace if there are defects. I mean, this is a quick, you don't dwell over a furnace. I mean, it's basic components. You turn it on, turn it off, done. Uh, shut off switch. Oh, burner. Oh, what, what, shut off switch, thermostat control, burner, burner port, valve, uh, humidifier that's unplugged, connected to that old thermostat upstairs. This is where the, all the exhaust gases go up into the chimney stack. So that's the flue connection pipe and a damper on the oil fired burner for that category furnace. There's the air filter location. It's in the right direction, disposable, done. I'm onto the oil storage tank, like kind of like an ancillary component of this system. And there's watermarks and the watermarks are black. So I think it's actually oil with water carrying the oil across the concrete floor and it smells like oil and it looks like there's oil too. The belly of the storage tank for the oil is often rusted completely and wet with oil. Often there's a lot of leaking oil tanks in the United States inside people's homes. This is not a good indoor air quality issue. This is a bad one. A lot of homes are not healthy. So I like to tap on the metal legs to see if they're deteriorated and often in my experience they were and this tank is leaking. It's wet with oil. It's dripping. It's rusted. It's black on the outside. There shouldn't be no oil on the outside of a oil tank unless it's leaking somewhere like a pinhole oil filter just like on the car oil valve so you can turn it off 